add food coloring. There's millions of different designs you can use, but they all take two main principles into consideration. Number one, air resistance or drag. Number two, impact reduction. So here's my design for air resistance. It's a simple parachute, guys. All I've used is a plastic bag attached to device and string to the actual egg itself. And I like to use a plastic bag because it's easier for cleanup if your device does fail for some reason. On the end. Second, impact reduction. So here you go. I've made a very simple device and I've used about 18 straws, I think, with some tape. Good old fashioned tape. So the egg sits in a little roll cage in the middle. And all I did to make that was use six straws to make a simple triangular pyramid. And the egg sits nice and comfortably in there, nice and snug. Then you just get 12 longer straws, tape two together and put them on each of the edges of the triangular pyramid. So when this drops, no matter what angle you drop it from, the straws will hit the ground first, take the impact from gravity absorb all that energy in that direction directly up the stiff angle of the straw and direct it away from the egg. There, that's already got about two tablespoons sodium bicarbonate or baking soda inside and then here's about 20 to 30 milliliters of vinegar or acetic acid. So the acid and the salt will mix together when I upturn this balloon and then produce carbon dioxide gas. As you know, gas expands to fill whatever container you put it inside, including the balloon. Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Woohoo!